You're streaming News 24 and in the newest segment of Four Brown Girls, I'm joined in studio by three wonderful women to talk to me about something that's super important at the moment. I'm joined in studio by BK, Bushe and Newo, and we are going to talk about the latest bursary that's been released, which is the Maiden's Bursary in KZN. Now, for many of you who may not know, this is a bursary that is awarded to girls who keep their virginity, and we're just going to discuss this a little bit more, ladies. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. My Absolutely. It's a good time. So let's kick off with Bushe. Um, it's a lot of people have been upset yeah. at the fact that this kind of bursary is being awarded yes. and that girls are being incentivized for education to keep their bursary. Can Definitely. you express your feelings on that? Well, I think it's important to to firstly acknowledge that there's several issues and there are a lot of reasons why people are upset about this. And I know when I read the article the very first thing that occurred to me, and I, I, I was flabbergasted because I wondered what, what must happen to girls who are raped, mm -hmm. you know? What, what do we do then? And also, are we not, by, by awarding this bursary and in this way, are we not aiding the stigma of rape, you mm -hmm. know, in itself? I mean, we know that along with the One in Nine campaign, rape culture in South Africa in particular is very, very prevalent. You know? Exactly. I think my biggest issue was um, it's not allowing women who might just want to get a better future for themselves. You might have a child, you might have had a baby really young, yeah. and you want to learn and study and get better, but you don't have the money, and now they're telling you because you have a child or you've had sex before, you can't get an education, stay at home. Mm. Definitely. It's, Definitely. Just, it's just a classic example of men Mm. Telling women what to do with their private parts, yeah. you know, because mm. what is this doesn't concern anybody, mm. but always men feel the need to involve themselves. I mean, also, what is the standard of what what constitutes a virgin? Yeah, because there are a lot of these different ways of what does penetration what do, mean? What does exactly. penetration mean? And exactly, I don't know. It's just mm. it's annoying how people continue to police things that are none of their business. The issue I think also a lot of the time, and oh, I yes. think what Neo brings up is that, you know, how is it that we're incentivizing education? I think that's the big, it's the right to education, right? Yeah. We have that right. And how then is, are you interfering with my right to dignity and all that stuff? And it's mm. unconstitutional to test for virginity. So I feel like in a lot of ways, I don't know how this was allowed, you know, in a lot of ways. Yeah. And there are people who are defending this, who are saying Definitely. that if you are against it, you must be a hoe. Yes. You must, yeah. I mean, and that kind of language also, what do you guys think about that? The idea that if you're against it, you must be a hoe or whatever. And I'm so glad that you just brought up language now because I think when I read the article, you know, some of, some of the quotes that stuck out to me in particular were things like, we have to maintain the purity of young mm -hmm. girls. Mm -hmm. In itself, again, if we're asking what is penetration, what do we mean by purity also? Yeah. What constitutes that? Yeah. And beyond all of that, you know, you have to wonder if they're saying, okay, there are 100 girls, right? No, there are more than 100, maybe 120 girls in the municipality who get these bursaries, right? Mm -hmm. Only 15 of them get these maiden bursaries. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing? If we award these 15 girls that, and then we leave these 100 girls, what are we doing publicly to these girls? Mm. Especially because from the article, it's very clear that the idea that being a virgin is the more positive, it's the better way to be, it makes you pure. So we award them at these ceremonies, and then we say, oh, so these 100 girls are clearly shameful. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, there's a tweet here. I don't know if maybe, BK, you want to respond to this. It says, girls are awarded for having babies through grants. Why can't we award virgins through the virgin bursary? Now, this got 29 retweets and 11 likes, which means there are people who agree with this kind of thought. Mm. BK? See, the problem with that tweet is thinking that a grant is an award. You're not being exactly. awarded for having a baby. You're being <coughs> given money because you can't afford to raise your child. And it's not just given to any girl that's under age or however old, um, it's given to people who really need it. So a bursary should also be the same. It should be given to people who need it, regardless of the fact that you've had sex or if you haven't had sex. I mean, what does virginity have to do with education anyway? Definitely. And also in, I mean, really, really? Is that how we're going to do things yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. 
Um, again, it's a question of dignity, and yeah. that tweet in itself implies that young girls who are pregnant have fun going, as you said, going mm -hmm. to a queue and having to pick up this measly amount of money mm -hmm. to try and not only just support, I'm pretty sure, the child that you're carrying, mm -hmm. but entire families, yeah. you know.